Welcome back to week three, day two on creating box and whisker plots. Again, I'm Mrs. Kenneth, the Title I math coach at Lucille Brown Middle School. Um, and we are still working on SOL 8.12a today. Here are the solutions to yesterday's homework. Number one, you needed to create a box and whisker plot. All right, so first you put that data in order from least to greatest. Your minimum or lower extreme, as we also call it, it was 70. Your upper extreme, also known as the maximum, was 90. The median came out to be 78. The lower quartile, which is the middle of the data to the left of the median, was 75. And the upper quartile, the middle of the data to the right of the median, and not including the median, is 84. So that is our four number or five number summary. We're going to plot that for the box and whisker plot. Remember our um, line should be above the number line. It should not be on the number line. All right. And then we're going to connect the lower quartile to the upper quartile to form the box. And then the whisker is going to connect the lower extreme to the lower quartile and the upper quartile to the upper extreme. Question number two, you were given the box and whisker. You needed to figure out which of the data sets represented that plot. The answer was B. All right, so when you put that num those numbers in order, the lowest number, also called your lower extreme or minimum, was five. Your lower quartile came out to be 15, which is right here on the graph. Your median was 20. Your upper quartile was 28. And your maximum was 34. All right, so those are the numbers that are plotted on that box plot. Therefore, that data set is the one that matches. Today's objective um, is the same as yesterday. We're going to still be working on creating box and whisker plots identifying the five number summary and graphing them. You will need a calculator, paper, and pencil, and a number cube, um, also known as a die. If you do not have one um, from maybe a game that you have at home, um, you can use this link to roll a virtual die. The vocabulary is here still for you and the pictorial representation. Here are the instructional videos for today. I need you to pause this video, click on these links, and review these videos and take notes as needed. When you are finished, please come back and we will do some independent practice problems. Welcome back and here's our independent practice for today. Example number one, you're gonna create a box and whisker plot using the data. You're going to identify the five number summary and then graph it. The problem says a number cube was rolled 11 times and the data was recorded. And there is your data. Please pause this video, try this problem by yourself, and then resume this video to check your solution. Hi, and welcome to day two. We will now go over the example problems, starting with example number one where well, you are supposed to create a box and whiskers or a box plot and identify the five main components. And using this set of data, we notice that we have 11 numbers that were given to us. So when we write them in ascending order, we are to make sure that we end up with the same number um, of points in our data set. In doing so, we can now identify the five main components starting with our lower extreme, which is our lowest value, which is one, our median, which would be four, and our upper extreme, which would be six. And looking at our quartiles, we're going to look at the number that is in the middle or median set of our lower set of data, starting from the lower extreme to the median for our lower quartile, and that number would be three. And if we are looking for our upper quartile, which would be the number that is located in the middle of the upper set of data, starting with the median and going out to our upper extreme, we see that that number should be five. So with that being said, our lower extreme is one, our lower quartile is three, 
our median is four, upper quartile is five, and our upper extreme is six. We should now be able to plot these five points using a vertical line on the number line and then creating a box between points three and five and then connecting one and our six using horizontal lines that will form our whiskers. So your one should be connected using a whisker to your three and your five should be connected to your six using a horizontal line of um, to your six for your upper extreme. Please see the diagram attached to this problem for exactly what the solution should look like. Here is example number two, same directions, but here you're going to use um, your number cube to roll um, 13 times to get your data set. All right, so you can either roll a number cube that you have or you can go back to that slide number two and click on the link for the virtual die to record your data. Here is an example solution for um, sample for example number two. All right, so this is where we just rolled our own number cube to get this data. You can review the example. Example number three, again, you're going to use your number cube or the virtual die to roll 18 times this time. That's 18 times. Find your five number summary and create your box and whisker plot. For today's homework, you have two homework problems. For both of them, you're going to use the data set given to find your five number summary and construct a box and whisker plot. We will review the answers to these homework problems tomorrow. Finally, for today, please log into Dreambox and complete at least one lesson. All right, you can log in through Clever and again, make sure you complete at least one lesson. Have a great day and we'll see you again tomorrow.